They say, because of the surprising ways in which it is perceived, that water in the Canary Islands is much more than an oceanic frontier or relief for the earth during periods of rain. It flows in gentle streams down the ravines of Garahanai. It climbs like a grey cloak over the hills of Taburiente. Its waves frolic amongst the dunes of Maspalomas. It leaps up into the skies at the Erivideros of Lanzarote. It crystallizes into snow on the peak of Teide volcano. It becomes turquoise, washing over the fine sands of Handia. And once upon a time, it flowed from the branches of the Garoe, the holy tree of the ancient El Hierro. Today in the Canary Islands, drinking water comes from the Earth's core, from the trade wind mists, from the great ocean, and from the nebula structures created by storms. It is so present, so precious, and so worshipped that for the islanders, it is a feature of identity. The ways in which inhabitants take advantage of this essential resource today, and how it was used in times gone by, allows us to speak of a water culture maintained on a string of tradition and custom which stretches out in time. From today's wells and water galleries to the elevated channels which spill the liquid into mill buckets, to public washing places converted into meeting points, or to the wooden pails used to extract water from the cisterns. Our water culture has led us towards a water conscience a journey of observation and study, and of a will that has allowed us to carry out constantly innovative hydraulic policies. In today's world, water is a challenge. Environmental circumstances and climatic phenomena have created a changing hydrological scenario which requires efficient solutions. Over the years, the Canary Islands, an insular territory with remarkable orography and landscapes, have become a benchmark in water management. The lack of rivers and lakes, and the need to rely exclusively upon the rains, means the resource of water is an urgent necessity requiring specific actions. These, constantly being renovated, are designed to optimize water management and they have been inspired by the courage and effort of our ancestors, who learned how to make the use of water a trait of identity. Success, today and in the future, needs to be based upon sustainability. The Canary Island Archipelago, with four of its islands declared biosphere reserves and four possessing national parks, today welcomes 14 million tourists every year. Attending to these, direct consumers of our essential resources, is only possible by creating infrastructure plans which have a marked environmental character. Therefore, the hydrological plans developed before the European Water Framework Directive were also environmental strategies designed precisely to safeguard sustainability. without which it would be impossible to maintain the vast tourism industry whilst not reducing the living conditions of Canary Islanders. Specialising infrastructures has been so great that the Canaries have become a model of innovation. Standing out in this strategy is a methodology employed in the process relating to the quality of water and to the environmental protection of the resource. Canary Island institutions have, throughout history, found ways of tackling the needs for water management. These institutions have their origins in Canary Island society. The Canary Islands today are at the forefront in Europe in terms of water resource management. The creativity of days gone by in the search for answers to help improve the islands' living conditions, who have always been conscious of the importance of the land and of the limited natural resource which they have learned to use. The perseverance based on our water culture and the determination in the face of challenges of modern progress have all become, in the last decades, engines of innovation, efficiency and collective success. This success means water has become a shared aim and a common objective 
for the Canaries and Europe.